spine. And they're very exhausted as well. Um, just go down from there. So, when we set up, we, we were setting up earlier in the, the week with turning in with this leg in front of this one. So, step that leg in front. Yeah. And like if he gets like this, this is a, a very like he's tied to me like this. We actually started like this, and I like playing with these little starts because although they're not completely like they're not completely uh, you know real, you don't really ever start like this. It's important to know like the positions you can get into within a position that look like they're really good, and actually you're taking as much away from them as you can. So I have an angle on him, but if you look here, like if I started trying to. Wrestle have no inside space at all, right? It's actually hard. He can, the more he walks this, we talked about this before. If he feels me trying to get my arm between his legs, he just walks this leg away. No, 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 away. Yeah. And now like, I still can't get inside. Even if I somehow put him around his hand, if he just keeps changing the angle away from me, just keep walking away from me, he actually begins to kill this. He can just start going now to a, uh, now you just start going to like, get, get, uh, go down into the, go all the way through, extend your arm, and come on. Yeah, and he starts coming up. So he doesn't have to move that far away before he decides to extend. So I have no inside space here at all. I don't want to see that. So I can't get inside. But what I could do to him, I'm not going to put this on par, but what I could start trying to do to him when this happens is I go over. Which is, I think, maybe the slight drawback of, or, or it's something to be aware of here. Okay. So I'm going over. I don't really have any inside space control here, but I'm going over. And what you're going to start to get, so the next thing I can do is I start going between his legs and I start just trying to connect my hands. All right, I don't want to do this too hard because he's cold. But you see how I'm bringing my, my knee up on his head as well now. And what I ideally be doing is connecting my hands together. Um, I don't want to go too hard here, but can you, can you move at all that? I know that. Can you, can you, so that makes it worse for you, because I can squeeze, can you extend? Right, and I, I can start using this to put him flat, try and get inside, and whatever. And there's actually a submission there as well, in that if you let the person close all that stuff up, it's my four, I can start to use my four limbs to compress you. All right, so, if he, if he, if he lets it get bad, which I sort of did it yesterday actually, when I was on the top, um, I get here, look, I start pulling his leg straight and actually using my leg here and then my other leg to start to compress. So I'm actually now using my um, um, my adductors to pull him in and compress him. What I'll try and do is connect my hands together. And I'm not going to do that for now because it's like, you know, he's, he's probably going to like have to tap something, but really tighten that up and I get it going. Um, but I, I want you to be aware of it, like, able to apply a cradle if you see one, um, and also to be like really aware of it. And tap early on this. Don't let this get bad and have a bad back the next day. It's just not just tap right for now. Um, is there any questions on that? No. So. So. He's starting in this position, and this is, the point is, is, it's going to be very hard for me to get under here, yeah. right? And if he even really pummel, he's up with his hands in difficult places, yeah, like this. See, now he's starting, he's actually starting to kind of open me up. Um, so I'm going to have to make some big moves, right? But the, the point is, is instead I go over the top. And I, one of the things I want you to be aware of is like what this head's doing. Because if he turns his chin to his shoulder and does a good job and puts his head maybe on the ground, it's probably going to be hard for me to actually get my arm through here, right? He can resist it. You can turn your head to make it more comfortable for you, resisting my, yeah, however you feel you need to, right? So there, just with the weight of the head, he can stop this from happening, right? Or, or begin to, to kill. But look, what I'm trying to do is I start doing this to him. Yeah, and I, I, I can put this, like I can start squeezing these together, and I've got this horrible kind of cradle position going on. And once I get here, I'm not going to let my arms go, I'm just going to let my legs do the work. I'm going to hold it like a static, like I'm doing a ton of static contraction. And just use my legs to squeeze in. My hands are connected, right? And I do want to connect my hands because it creates a basic, kind of like a frame or a bind, whatever you want to call it. 
So if my hands are connected together, but it's my legs are doing the work on it. And if I get a bit bored with this or whatever he does not tap, you can just start pulling him up and getting him flat, switching. Yeah. It's pretty grim, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can use it a bit like scarf hold. You get because you're getting what's happening is this is happening to you. Really, you're kind of getting you're kind of getting your head stuck to your own knee. But when the guy's got weight on you, he takes his weight off the ground and is squeezing. It's pretty grim, but it's not a lot of energy effort. Yeah, have a little go at it. Like you know, three for three. Be ready to tap. It's not worth getting. If you start when you start feeling it's getting uncompressed, I would just tap on it. Um, so then, you know, maybe on top you have to you lighten up a bit. Uh, but it's really the idea of this. You get your hands together and then you're just squeezing. You're kind of cracking their neck a little bit and you're pulling their legs straight. So it's this idea. And you're using your legs to do that too. Yeah. Any questions on that? No? Let's give it a go.